This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic, uh, that is production order status management. Okay. So in this in this topic, we will be covering basically production order status overview. We will see what is production order status, how it works. Then we will see system status, what is system status and how it works. Then user status, what is user status, uh, what is its importance, we will see. Then creation of user status profile, we will create a user status profile. And then using this status profile in the production order. So the user status which is created in the system, how to use it in the production order, we will see. Okay. These are the topics we'll be covering in the production order status management. Okay. So first we'll understand uh, what is production order status. Production order status. Okay. So production order have a status management that controls the possible processing sequence of the individual business processes. So basically in the in the production order you have a status basically so each and every uh, processes process carried out for the production order is tracked through its status okay the current processing status of an object is documented using one or more status so the production order status will tell you in what stage it is at what stage it is okay so before that, let me show you this in the system. So, if we go to the system, in the production order, we have a status actually. So, let me log in. Okay. If you go to the production order, Production order. Suppose if I take this production order, if you go to this production order, we have a status. Okay, here we are talking about this status. So this status will tell you at what stage it is. Okay, whether it is just created, whether it is released, whether the confirmation is done, whether the delivery is completed. So all those things can be tracked through this status. So we are discussing about this status, okay? A status, a status is an indicator with the following functions. So what status will tell you? It indicates that a certain condition is reached. That means production order has reached this particular condition, okay? It influences the number of business transactions can be performed. So the status will control what other transactions can be carried out all those things it will control suppose let's say if the order is not released if the order is not released you cannot carry out further activities okay this we discussed suppose let's say in in our flow in our flow first production order is created production order is created yes so during that time, normally the status will be CRT. Okay. So after this, we do the material availability check. Material availability check. And then after that, we release the production order. Okay. Production order release. So, so when, the, when the production order is released, it will have a status of REL. So suppose let's say if the production order is not released, not released, you cannot carry out further activities. So the release status, so to, to carry out further activities, you should have the status of the production order as released. Status should be released. So that's what we are discussing. Okay. A status, a status can allow, can allow a business transaction to perform with a warning or disallow it. Okay, so one the status will control these things basically. What are the further steps can be carried out, and what are the further steps cannot be carried out? 
those are controlled by status okay there are two types of statuses system status and user status we have two statuses basically okay so we, we will discuss one by one both so the status types of statuses are one is system status system status this is standard another one is user status user status which we can provide uh, which we can uh, create as per our requirement we will create a new one also okay so basically you will have the two statuses system status and user status so if you go to the order you can see this this one is a system status okay so if you click on the i button you can see here this is the system status standard one and you have user status if you see this one and again in the user status you have two things status with status number another one is without status we will create a one and we will see how it works as of now there is no user status only we have the system status okay so let's continue so this is the one so this is what we are discussing so basically production order status control the business transactions in a production order okay you can have the status for the order header at operation level also for the components and for the prts also so basically status will control the business transactions that can be carried out for the order okay there are two types of statuses as I, as i just explained one is system status another one is user status okay and system status is a standard one internal system status this is set by the system only you cannot do anything here cannot be influenced by the user you cannot uh, change it okay fixed quantity of predefined status so system only will assign the statuses in a predefined uh, sequence basically okay whereas user status freely definable freely definable you can define it as as per our requirement and it is set by the user user has to set this status okay and it is linked via status profile to the order type we will create a new user status profile okay so these are the ones so we have the system status and we have the user status so system status you see these are some of the statuses like created when you create a production order it will have a status of created when you release it the status will get changed to released system only will do that if you confirm the order the status will become confirmed and if you do the gr it will have a status of delivered these things okay and these statuses will be there for the header level and also you will have for a operation also or even for operation also there will be a status suppose if i show you you go to the order this is order this is a header level status and also if you go to operations see for operation also there is a status you see here there is a status okay so of course here we have only one operation that's the reason we have the one status here see it is already confirmed so like this you can have the status at header level and operation level so these are system statuses so suppose let's say if i create a production order we create a production order statuses will get changed automatically okay suppose if i go to co01 i'll go to co01 i will create a fresh production order okay So now, so now we are just creating the production order. Now you see the status is CRTD created. If you click on I button, you see the status is created. Okay, and also there are some other statuses, and we have not done the material availability check yet. So now go back. Let me save the order. Okay, so it's okay. I have created the order and I have saved it. Now we will I will go to change mode. And now, as of now, the material availability is not checked. So we have carried out first step. Production order creation is done. So as we have not done the material availability check, if you click on I button, system says material availability not yet checked. You see M A N C. Now, if I do material availability check, 
if i do the material availability check if i click on this button check material availability see now the status is changed MACM. if you click on i button you see material committed so system is automatically changing the status so now i'll go back i'll just save once okay again i will go to change mode now if i release the order now you see the status will get changed to released automatically so now as we are in created mode if you carry out any further activities system will not allow suppose i am in created mode if i try to do goods issue let's say if i try to do 